Hi, and welcome to a flight stream demo video provided by Dark Preparation. In this video, we'll be talking about the Solver Sweeper. Here we have the Piper PA24 example file, and it's just about ready to go ahead and run the solver. However, if we want to run a sweep instead of a single alpha or beta or velocity, we can go ahead and go to the toolbox and then the Solver Sweeper, and we have a couple options available to us. Under these sweep parameters, we see the angle of attack, the size of angle, and free stream velocity are available to us. And I've enabled those three just by clicking on their names. In this case, I'll disable two and do a simple alpha sweep. So I'll choose negative four to start. I'll choose the stop as four, and I'll choose my delta for each step as two degrees. Aside from that, we have a couple other options available to us. So we have the export surface data for step, and that's going to record each of the results for every surface that you're calculating over for each alpha that you're running. So in this case, I've also created a folder called run1, and I've created a blank text file called data.txt. And this is just to create a pointer for flight stream, so that way it knows where to save the data. And the next option is clear solution after each run. We can go ahead and enable that if we're looking at high alphas where our solution might diverge for one step. And in the next step, we wouldn't want to use that diverged solution to build upon. In this case, since we're doing negative four to four degrees, we're not going to need to go ahead and select that. Uh, the next one is the reference velocity is the same as free stream velocity. This is generally one of the defaults that we go ahead and select in-house. And now we are good to go ahead and run. So to go ahead and run, we have to initialize the solver, just as before. Use symmetry plane, CG. And after this is initialized, we'll be able to run via this button, the run the sweep option here. So clicking this. So at this point, I have my results. And if we look into the file directory for this, we can go to run one, and we can see that each of these files have been created for the steps that we've run. So they've been marked AOA, zero, beta, zero, and velocity as the same for each one of these different files. If we go in here, we can look at it. We have all these solver parameters here. Then we have each of the resulting forces and moments that we've calculated. However, maybe we like the organization of this, and we don't need the breakdown for each surface result. So we can go ahead and actually click Export Sweep Results. Now we can say, you know, let's say that Sweep Results saves it as a text file. We can go over here, and now we can open this. And there we go. We have the full solution for all the surfaces for each of the steps of alpha that we've created. And if we were to vary the beta or velocity, that would also be stacked up here. We have generated results for an alpha sweep of negative 4 to 4 degrees in the Piper PA24. And that concludes this video demonstrating the Solver Sweeper.